they were often just so certain that um, literalism was wrong. And maybe literalism is wrong, but certainly not for the reasons they've said it was wrong. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how it all played out for me. I mean, I, I found myself to be a bit of a, a misfit in pretty much all the camps. <laughs> you know, I... I never saw how science challenged a literal reading of Genesis in the end. I mean, I just didn't, I don't see that. And for a little time, a time I was working with evolutionary creationists at BioLogos. I'm certainly not an evolutionary creationist in my point of view. I don't like that term. And I'm certainly not an evolutionary creationist like them. But they were, uh, they were often just so certain that um, literalism was wrong. And maybe literalism is wrong, but certainly not for the reasons they've said it was wrong. And I just didn't understand that. Um, and once again, I mean, I kind of got forced into writing this book. Now, maybe that's not the right re way to read Genesis. I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm not a theologian. I'm not here to, um, you know, knock people over the head or exclude people. But I do think we need to be honest about what the science says. And I think we also have to be honest about what the theological tradition says. You know, um, my, my, you know, in the end, when I left Young Earth Creationism, I really felt like I'd been lied to. Um, they came with such certainty about scripture, and they even claimed that their view is traditional. And uh, one of the most important articles I read was actually this article called The Contemporary Relevance of Augustine, ironically written in the 1980s. This article... <laughs> uh, Wait, why is that ironic? Well, I mean, that's not very contemporary, right? <laughs> that's 20 years, 40 years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, or I like how you said 20 know, years. 35 years ago. It's not contemporary. But the point is, it is very relevant. I mean, I have a good friend, Gavin Ortland, who actually has a book coming out this summer on uh, really expanding this topic, too. But it turns out that Augustine's literal reading of Genesis, he, he, he kind of he writes a book called A Literal Re Interpretation of Genesis. He, he gives his literal reading, and it was just so foreign to me. And his reasoning was intriguing. And it was so different than Young Earth Creationist literal readings, which completely raised the question of like, you know, maybe literalism is wrong, but even if we're going to all agree that literalism is the right way to read Genesis, I mean, it doesn't box you into this narrow reading. There's a lot of open questions. And why aren't we talking about the questions of what scripture means? And, and it really started to become more, it seemed to be more about control. They wanted me to think a particular way, regardless of what scripture said. And, um, and I, uh, in the end, you know, I just had to trust God's words over a man's words. And so I left.